and the online violin tutor um, in today's lesson lesson four I'm going to be showing you how to bow on the violin so where to put the bow and how to do it and all that good stuff okay so we know now how to, how to hold the bow correctly and we learned that from lesson one we know how to hold the violin correctly um, so I'm assuming that, that we're all doing that properly now the next thing we need to know is to start bowing so I've taught you the open strings, I uh, went through that into lesson three. So the G string, the D string, the A string, and the E string is the thin one at the top on the right here. And today I'm just gonna show you where you need to put the bow on the violin to start playing. And then perhaps it would be a good idea if you, to get the hang of that, just played a few of the open strings, just so you can just get into the swing of, of bowing on the violin and, and seeing what it sounds like and all that sort of stuff. You need to be putting the bow in between the bridge, which is the wooden part here, and the fingerboard, which is the black part here. So you need to be pu putting the bow in between this gap here. Now, I would say that you probably need to try and aim for bowing in the middle. So you don't want to be bowing too much near here, near the fingerboard. You don't want to bow too much near the bridge, or that's going to sound very, very scratchy. You want to try and aim for the middle. Now I say try and aim for the middle because it is very, very difficult to sort of try and play in one, one place, especially as a beginner, because you've got so many other things to concentrate. You're trying to concentrate on holding the bow, you're holding the violin, you're looking at the music, you're trying to work out what string you're playing on, and then she says that you've got to put your bow in the middle of the in the middle between the fingerboard and the bridge. So I understand it is very difficult, but all of these things will come together gradually. Um, and the more you do it, the more you can kind of eliminate all those things so you've only got one thing to kind of concentrate on. And that's what you'll learn as you go through this course of lessons. So, very simply, you need to try and bow in the middle between the bridge and the fingerboard. Okay, now what you need to try and do is to try and keep your bow straight against the violin so it's it's kind of um, so the bow on the violin makes sort of a cross okay so what you need to try and do is to keep this bow arm nice and straight when you're bowing on the strings um, and obviously trying to bow in the middle of the strings like I said earlier so one of the things if I just turn slightly to the side to you one of the, one of the things you need to make sure you do is to never bring this part of the the top part of my arm so so this part here you must never bring that further back than, than the side of your body, so it can't go any further back, okay? It can go forward, but it can't go any further back than the side of your body. So if you watch, I'll explain in a second, but if you watch how I bow... So I'm trying to keep my arm nice and straight, so actually if you notice the movement is just coming from my elbow, I'm not actually doing anything. A good way of helping you do this is to actually stand flat against the wall so that your arm, imagine, imagine a wall right behind me here, my arm couldn't physically push any further back on that wall. So that's a good thing to do if you've, if you've got an, a, a convenient wall or something that you can stand behind and, and try to bow. So as I'm bowing on the string, the only thing that I'm doing, I'm just simply moving from from the elbow, so the top part of my arm is not moving backwards and forwards, simply just my elbow joint. So if I did that for you... So you can see it's just my elbow that's, that's moving. My wrist is also moving up and down, but to be honest, if you've, if you've got the bow hold correctly, that should just automatically happen, because it's got to happen because of, of the movement. Now one thing that students tend to do in the early stages is to, is to play the violin like this or a piece of wood as I normally say. So this is what you don't want everybody, you don't want to do this. Because that's when people say to me, oh Alison, why does it sound so scratchy? And I'll say, well basically it's because you're playing on the fingerboard, you're playing too close to the bridge, the sound isn't consistent enough and the bow's shaking around all over the show. So if you want to keep the bow perfectly straight onto the violin as much as you can, you're just going to make the bow move from the elbow. Now a lot of, it, a lot of this is all easier said than done, 
but I mean nobody said playing the violin was easy so it's all just down to practice. As long as you're aware of all these things and all these aspects of playing the violin then gradually over time all these things will come together for you. So I'm going to set you guys some kind of homework or, or an exercise if, if you want to be practicing um, and I would suggest that you kind of uh, not particularly move on to lesson five until you think that you've got this to the best of your ability and you know keep referring back to this video and you can see how I'm doing it watch yourself in the mirror so play in front of the mirror um, so you can see what you're doing so you can see that it matches up to me so if you can get as close to me as you sort of possibly can then I would suggest that you can move on to, to the next lesson so with the violin it's very technical and you really do need to get the hang of each individual a uh, little, little section, a little lesson that I'm telling you first before you move on to the next one. Otherwise you'll pick up lots of bad habits. Um, if you do ever go to a teacher, you know, it'll be very, very hard for them to undo all the kind of bad habits that you've done. So I would suggest that you start by playing, say, four bows, four notes on the E string, on the A string, and the D string, and the G string. So if you practice this little exercise, start at the bottom and go upwards if you want to. So it doesn't really matter what you do, what order you do the strings in, as long as you can learn the names of the strings and you're bowing as much as you can so that you're just bowing from from the elbow. The elbow is the only thing that moves. I can't really stress that enough. Do not do any of this because the bow is going to be bending around. If What you need to try and perhaps do is make sure your arm is further forward than you probably think. A lot of students want to start like this with their arm back so it's too far back from their body to start with and I think that's where the problem occurs. So if you can make sure your arm is further forward or in line as you can see with your, you know, no further no further back than your back is, <laughs> if that makes sense, then, then you should be well on track to getting a nice stroke bow on the violin. So thanks for watching and I hope you guys have, have gained enough information from there, um, from this video. As always, if you've got any comments, just leave it in the box underneath um, and I'll back, get back to you as soon as I can. Um, but keep practicing guys um, and join me in the next lesson.